everyone and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Claire Carmichael and I'm a newly qualified general practice nurse. Yay! So today I'm in my lounge. I thought I'd give a little bit of a change of scenery and just show you and update you what I've been doing with the lounge because as some of you know from my Instagram stories and stuff, we are doing up the lounge at the minute. There used to be really crap wallpaper up there and yeah so we've stripped it all. We've done all the painting, we've done the skirting board, and now we've got this beautiful new carpet, which the dogs absolutely love. Oh God, here he goes. Sorry, I need to show you this. So he's got a thing where he chases shadows. <laughs> Little weirdo. Anyway, yes, yeah, so this is the lounge so far. Wallp um, wallpaper's done. The painting has been done, the skirting boards have been done, the flooring has been done, and now we are waiting for the sofa. So the sofa's going to come on the 19th of March, I think. So when that comes, it's going to look a lot better. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this sofa. Cannot wait. And then my next thing I'm going to do is sort that out. I'm going to repaint. We've got that and the TV stand is that colour as well. So I'm going to sand it all down and make it look amazing, hopefully. In my head, it's going to look amazing. Whether it turns out amazing, I don't know, because I've never done anything like this before. But I'm loving it right now. So, yeah, I've done this all myself with a bit of help from friends, Dali and Dali's cousin helped me wallpaper. Oh, my God. We smashed that wallpaper. I'm not going to lie. I'm really bad at wallpapering, but actually we did a really good job at that one. So, yeah. So thanks to Dali's cousin for that. I just wanted to do a little update about what I've been up to, how work's going and all of that jazz because I think I'm six weeks in now and I haven't done a sort of work related video in a couple of weeks so I just thought I would update you what's been going on, what's been happening, a lot of you've been following my Instagram stories and have seen that I've been feeling a little bit low lately so yeah I just wanted to explain that and just yeah update you all basically and just before I start I just wanted to say that this is a disclaimer um this isn't reflecting of my workplace or my job I still absolutely love my job this is purely my own pressures that I put on myself is why I'm feeling so low my colleagues have been amazing my the workplace has been amazing I love my job in general GP nursing is amazing I have been feeling really low lately um the last few weeks two, three weeks. I've been really fatigued. I've been going home exhausted and literally just jumping into bed and sleeping at night. I haven't got time to sort of speak to people. It's been tough, to be honest. I've had a really tough, tough time with it. Today, I feel a bit better. I feel a bit more like me today, which is amazing to hear for myself. And I think it is just all the excitement of moving to a new job, to a new location, leaving uni, um, and then I was excited because I got my dream job, so then I started my dream job, and then I was sort of looking forward to getting on my blues, so then I had that to look forward to, and then once I got my blues, after that period, I, I sort of started to dip down because I was like, right, I'm here now, that's it, what else have I got? And I think I put a lot of pressure on myself because I did get a couple of things wrong, not major things, but I did make a couple of mistakes where um, it just happened. I was exhausted, I was tired. I felt awful for doing that. And when someone told me that I'd made that mistake, I was like, this isn't good. I, I may, if I can make a little tiny mistake like that, what other mistakes can I make? What else have I done wrong? Maybe no one's noticed it yet. Maybe it's gonna be picked up later. So I started panicking about that. And then there was just a couple of little things like that that I'd been doing wrong. And I thought, you know what? This isn't good. I'm getting really fatigued. It could be the traveling as well because I travel to my job. It's about 22 miles from my house. It can take anywhere between 40 minutes to oh, just over an hour to get to work. Um, which I knew before, but and I've always, on my placements, I've always had to travel for my placements. They've all been nearly two hours long. So I thought actually this is a bonus that it's actually closer than my placements have been. I didn't think it would affect me, but I think doing five days at plus the traveling on top, it can be quite a lot, I think. So I think that's really got me down a little bit and the, the pressures I'm putting on myself because I'm thinking I should know everything already when I, I shouldn't know everything already. I'm a newly qualified nurse. I only know so much, just like any nurse. Everyone is sort of knowledgeable about bits of little things. So 
I just need to be a lot more kinder to myself and use all of my advice that I give to you guys, which I'm really bad at doing. I'm sorry. I don't take my advice and I need to start doing that. You have to excuse this light as well. It's a bit funny at the minute. So yeah, so I've been beating myself up like crazy, putting a lot of pressure on myself and going home worrying about things unnecessarily. And it's all about me and myself and sort of putting myself down and that's not okay. I shouldn't be doing that. And um I have been speaking to people about it. I've spoke to the nurses about it that really, really, really helped me out. I spoke to the one nurse and told her how I was feeling. And she said, you know what? We all feel like that. After being qualified for so many years, I still ask questions. I still go to the other nurse because she's an expert on something that I'm not. And I keep saying this as well in my vlogs, like we can't know it all. That's what makes teamwork because we help each other out. So I just need to remind myself this constantly. And yeah, I'll get used to it. And just speaking with other newly qualified nurses as well some of them who have been qualified for six months some of them have been qualified for a year now have all said the same thing that transition from student to newly qualified nurse is the toughest because you're suddenly not a student nurse anymore you're you are the nurse and sometimes some patients don't understand that they don't understand the transition process that actually you're still learning and they expect a lot more from you and i think that's what i've had as well i've had one patient who just asked me some questions and i was like i don't know and that's when i was like why don't i know this i should know this i've been just uni for three years and i think that's where it all started a couple of weeks ago as well was just having those questions thrown at me so yes it's about reminding myself and you if you're going to be qualified soon or if you are newly qualified and struggling you need to remind yourselves as well that we can't know it all and it's okay if we make these little mistakes sometimes, but as long as we're getting help and support and don't struggle through it alone, that's the main thing. So like I have, I've spoke to my family, I've spoke to um, the nurses at work about it and we are actually gonna now sort of adjust my hours around. I'm, I'm, I'm either gonna be doing four long days instead of over five days, I'm gonna condense it to four long days and have a day off in the week, or I'm gonna go down to doing just three long days Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then it'll give me that day in between. Because another thing I'm realizing is I'm not doing sort of my GP ambassador stuff as much as I would be doing. I'm not vlogging, I'm not blogging as much as I was doing before. And I think having those little social things that I did before taken away from me is also having a little bit of an effect on me. And I need to sort of get back into that because I feel like I'm not helping students anymore. I feel like um, I'm not doing enough for student nurses anymore. And that's my big passion. And I want to do more of that. So if I could have those two days off in between and I could focus those two days on helping other people, that's gonna make me feel a hundred times better as well, which sounds weird, doing more in a different way um, is gonna really, really help me. And that's what I've always done on my course as well. I haven't just focused on my nursing degree. I've done everything around it to keep me motivated and keep me going. And I feel like I personally just really need that in my life right now. And do you know what, if I, ha I, I can't do three long days, that's fine. Four, I think doing the four long days and having that one day as well in the week. So I've got three days then. I think that's gonna help me massively. Sorry, I feel like I've waffled on forever about my hours and work. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but I just wanted to update you how I'm feeling, where I'm at, uh, because I did put a couple of Instagram posts as well, like I said, about just feeling a bit run down and tired lately. But I want you to all know I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm still loving my job. It's still amazing. Nursing is still amazing. But I, I was feeling very low and very exhausted. So, yeah but I'm okay. And it's, it's still early days, like I'm only six weeks in. I've, I've felt like this on most placements, I think. So it's reminded myself about that period and that time that I had on placements and actually it, I improve and I get more confident as the job goes on. And yeah, I sort of come out my shell a bit more, which is nice. Dylan, what are you doing, you little weirdo? Come here and say hello. Dylan, say hello, say hello. Nix. Say hello. Say hi, Nix. Okay, you can stop now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now because I feel like I've just rabbited on about rubbish. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. But I just wanted to make you aware that there are tough times when you qualify and that transition is really, really hard. But just make sure you get that support that you need. Talk to your colleagues about it. Talk to your friends about it because that's the main thing is that you have to get support and not just shy away and say, this is expected of me. I should be feeling like this because 
no it's not normal it's not a nice feeling it makes you feel really really rubbish so please speak to someone get support if you need it and get all the help you can for that smooth transition process to newly qualified nurse because i've got an amazing team and it's really really helped my process so i shall say goodbye for now if you want me to do any videos in particular please comment below let me know what you want to know more of not coronavirus i'm not doing anything on coronavirus because it's ridiculous right now and there's way too much information out there go on the who website public health england website proper websites don't listen to the rubbish you hear on social media or the news just go by the proper websites and what the government are advising and listen to the advice. Quarantine for 14 days, build your immune system up and hand washing, infection control guys, come on. But if there's any other videos that you, but if there's any other videos that I can do for you and um, that I haven't covered yet, that maybe I've said I've covered in a previous vlog that I haven't done yet, please remind me um, because I am forgetful and I'm a little bit rubbish sometimes. So comment below, let me know and I will get those done for you. But for now, bye-bye.